Looking at recent news, we've had India's Bharti uh, buying Zane's African operations and the company really seeing the deal as its ticket to one of the telecoms world's last unconquered territories. Let's talk timing the wave here and the potential success a company like Bharti has opened itself up to. Well, I think firstly, everyone was quite taken aback at the speed with which uh, Mr. Mittal wrote the check at a very full price, especially given the fact that Zane had been on a go shop provision for several months for the Zane Africa business. This was the second biggest purchase, Alicia, uh, by India Inc. after British Steel, which was the, uh, the chorus. So it was an enormous transaction and a real statement of intent. I, I think you know what you've what you've got with Zane is underperforming mobile real estate. I think you've got a factory model with Barty, and I think he's going to really industrialize all these different pieces of real estate estate across the continent. And therefore, I think you know he will make a tremendous difference and probably a great success of this purchase. In Kenya, however, I think Zane might not be the low hanging fruit that that uh, Barty can find elsewhere on the continent. Well, certainly looking at the speed of this transaction, it's, it's a matter to a degree of the fact that you've got to get in there fast uh, in the face of ever-increasing competition. Uh, you've got MTN certainly not sitting on its laurels uh, looking for funding now mm. to acquire units of Egypt's Oriscom uh, Telecom. So the playing field certainly heating up here at the same time. Absolutely. And I think, uh, as you said, if there's a first mover advantage, you've got to grab the opportunity. You know, you snooze, you lose in this telecom space. It's very, very dynamic and extremely exciting right now because I do believe that the African opportunity, the Asian opportunity are enormous one-off opportunities to basically own the pipe to the, re to the individual. And I think that's what's attracting everybody at the moment, ahead of this huge pipe build out with the internet, mobile wallet, and voice is really you know, a sort of a forgotten corner. So in this context where we've got various place, uh, players vying for a slice of the pie yeah. on the continent here, how important is operational experience? Because some are saying, for example, that Bharti has very little operational experience mm. outside of India. That's an interesting question, and I think it's absolutely key because you've got all these sprawling uh, mobile uh, 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 franchises all across the continent. And you know, if anything, uh, the African continent is very asymmetric. It's very difficult to industrialize continent-wide at the moment, although I think that trend will change dramatically. But from the language that I read from Mr. Mittal, his minute factory model, I think you know the Indians uh, have been found to be, to be extremely good at, at operationalizing and, and consolidating and commoditizing a business. I would take him at his word and I, and I believe he could really extract a lot of value. Having said that, the key risk to the share price right now is short term is execution yeah. and you know he's got to hit the ground running. Having said that, it's also a deal that's fraught with uh, regulatory, political, financial and operational risk as well as an investor mm. coming in. While you may well have the appetite to actually take this in, you most certainly have, uh, need to have the stomach to actually uh, stomach it, don't you? Mm -hmm. That's a good point. I mean, since that... Uh, uh, um, an announcement has been made. You've had the DRC, you've had problems in uh, Nigeria with Econet. You've had a number of regulators coming up and say, look, no one's consulted us. Uh, we're not really that interested. We don't, you know, we've got to still sign, sign the note and agree to it. So those are clearly risks. But I think what you get in Africa is a different difference between risk perception and then execution. And I think there's a lot of noise, a lot of interference. But when, when, when the checks are signed, I think you'll find Barty is pretty much in situ in all the places he needs to be.